Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 5 Complete. And for those of you who are wondering, I know this is a bit late into it to kind of tell you guys this, but I'm not looking to speed my way through this. I don't have any prior knowledge of the game. I mean, I've played Disgaea 1 and 2. 2, I've only gotten through the main story. Disgaea 1, a bit more, so I know a little bit more about that game. But this is not going to be, uh, oh, we need to do this and this and this, and I'm not going to be power leveling super fast or anything like that. I'm experiencing this for the very first time, and I plan very much to enjoy it. So hopefully you uh, will enjoy my childlike enthusiasm because I do absolutely love the Disgaea series as a whole. I think I just found where uh, we need to go. We'll come back to the spot in a minute, though. Anyhow, I'm just a massive fan of this from top to bottom, so... Yeah, if you just want to enjoy and relax and, and experience it with me and my silly, goofy, over-the-top responses and reactions to the craziness that's happening on screen, then you've come to the right spot. If not, eh, stick around. You might still find something that's fun and enjoyable. But, like I said, I'm having a blast with the game. I'm coming into it with no prior knowledge of any of the characters or any of that stuff, guys and girls. This is blind. I had maybe a half hour of playing around on my own before I started recording. Just to kind of get used to some of the few game mechanics, but I was just like, you know what? I, I'd rather experience the entire, or as much of the game as I can uh, on camera. So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. So we just got a shock gun. I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent. Sounds like it might be okay. Um, it is. It's actually better than what we have right now. Cool. Which means that we should probably put the... We already have the Assault Magnum out. Does anybody else have a gun? I don't think so. I mean, other than the Pernicle Shooter, but... Or the Pernicle Shooter, I guess. Alright, so, yeah, no, we're, we're okay. Um, You don't have glasses? How do we not get you glasses? That seems odd to me. Anyhow, we still have only had uh, three people sign up. I mean, I, I put a couple of obligatory people in there. You know, Mutanat and Kara, of course, wanting to be the printy. And just a few others, but, like, not a lot of sign-ups. I'm not sure what to think about that. I really figure we had we had Casey, we had um, Zungle, and we had M Empis. And that's it. Like, nobody else has signed up unless I've missed it. And it is possible, guys and gals, and I do apologize if that is the case. But it is very possible that YouTube has just not shown me comments and things of that nature or alerted me that they exist. So let's go see what's up. The sardine curry that Kilia made has disappeared, dude. It must have been the intruder, dude. What was that? Sardine curry? Sir Kilia, could you not feed the printies on your own? They'll get big-headed. But these guys are doing their jobs. A little won't hurt. My, you're too easy on them, Sir Kilia. I bet that curry was sweet, like you. I didn't even get to take a single bite. I won't forgive that intruder, dude. All right, well, we have some quests done. We'll go turn some stuff in. Anyway, I just figured I'd mention that. I, I'm sure some people are like, oh, you know, what's taking you so long to do this or that? And how do you not know how this works or that works? I literally have no experience beyond the main storyline of Disgaea 2 and having played Disgaea 1 through a good portion of the game, which I'm still doing currently, by the way. So there's a lot of stuff that I don't get, I don't understand, uh, that are new. So some of it's really exciting, some of it's... Probably really simple if you played 3 or 4 or D2, and I just, I, I don't have it yet, so bear with me, guys and gals, we'll get there. Oh, archers, what did I get? Oh, we got the healer to rank 2, I guess, probably. Alright, we are archers, and alright, so now we can have an archer brought into the fold. Pretty happy about that, the quest of valuing loyalty has been added, and the quest space pirates has been added as well. All right, I'm I'm down with that. That's that's cool. All right, what else we got? We should have a decent amount of mana by this point, and we're also getting pretty close to rank three fighter and brawler. Oh no, no, we're not. No, the rank isn't level. It's uh, like which tier? It's like you have a warrior, then you have like a swordsman, and then you have like a shoehornsman. I, I don't know. 
It's like the different classes. Okay, we have to kill one more martial artist. Uh, clear any stage. I mean, we're getting there. Those are okay quests. So what are the new ones? With valuing loyalty, the Lady Samurai. I want that one. That is right now my. That's my priority. So we need to get an archer. So I mean, nobody signed up. So I'm just gonna make an archer. Hopefully everybody's down with that. Um, valuing loyalty. So that is gonna be a thing. Okay, that's gonna be three people that have. Ooh, space pirates. What's a space pirate? What's a pirate? I don't even know what that is. But I want it, and that's going to be another one that we're going to get immediately. Alright, no ordinary bug. Target, we need to kill one archer. And we get a winged warrior. Uh, well, we can't do any more quests. I feel like I may have just shot myself in the foot a little bit. I feel like I already have that taken care of. Or really close to it. Alright, so we got we got stuff that we got to do. Actually, quite a few things. What was some of that? What is this? Target mastery? Oh, armor mastery. Level 15 needed. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's cool. I, I really like the quest system. I'm not 100% on point with it yet. Like, I, I, I'm still getting it. I'm sure I'm choosing wrong quests. Ones I shouldn't be doing at the time that I'm doing them. But, I really like the quest system. It adds a, like a new level or a new layer, if you will, to what's going down. And I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of that. All right, we need to go bring somebody else into the fold at this point, and I am all for doing that. So we're going to go... Oh, I forgot. We should have been interrogating people. I totally missed out on this last couple times. I apologize. Mark, what's up, buddy? Uh, what are your stats? You are weak on resistance. All right. Nine. Uh-huh. I'm lay tired. We got him. Right? We got him. Alright. So, what, what do we do now? Oh, we can do things so now. Solicit. Targeted prisoners will become your ally. We can extract. Um. Okay. Uh, let's try an extraction. Uh, release and obtain an item. We got magic extract. Oh, cool. We needed that for a quest that I don't think I have. What does that do? Increases your stats. What? 100% pure concentrated magic. What do you mean it increases my stats? Like legit just stat increase? Hmm... Hundred fourteen, one hundred one, eighty-seven, one hundred four, one thirty-five, eighty. Oh, it, oh! It tells you. It tells you. It's great. Oh, that's. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's. That's so cool. I'm sorry. Again, totally just digging it. All right, we're gonna find people with low resistance because she's kind of geared toward resistances. Blake, I don't. I wouldn't mind getting like. Well, we could just murder you straight up. Let's just do this now. Oh, we could starve. That's it's funny. I, it's, I love. I'm so hungry. Oh, that didn't do anything to you. Wasn't your resistance really low at nine? Oh, I suppose you only have ten mana. It's probably gonna go a bit slower. Right, that's fine. Um, what else? We never got to see what the research thing was. Let's go check that out. What? Thank you for visiting. You can uh, assign characters to a research squad and make them research other netherworlds. You can discover new netherworlds, find rare items, capture prisoners, or even strengthen your characters. Do you like to travel to and research various netherworlds out in the universe? Um, the basics of it? What is it? The research squad is a group that explores mysterious nether worlds. Assign characters to the research squad and have them fly to distant nether worlds to find items or capture new prisoners. By fighting citizens of different nether worlds, your characters can get stronger. The research will proceed according to the amount of battles, so it may be good training for lesser used characters. Interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. 
However, if you don't adjust your squad according to the mission, they might get annihilated and your research might halt. Ooh. Sometimes you may find rare items. Anyway, just start your expedition. Um, Netherworld Index. This is a list of all the netherworlds you've found and their research rates. The rate is the progress of the research done in the netherworld. Finding items or prisoners raises it. When it hits 100%, you can't gain more items or prisoners, but you will be able to fight or discover new netherworlds. Also, the netherworld's condition can be determined by the color of its name on the list. Let's go over each condition. First green indicates it's a famous netherworld. In, con in contrast, stray netherworlds are in black. I'll explain about famous and stray netherworlds some other time. Orange means that netherworld is currently being researched. Blue indicates the research on that netherworld is complete. Red means it is under the lost controls and there may be many battles. And research will be tough. That's everything about the colors. Sorry it took so long. As you continue to progress with the research, you'll naturally get the hang of it. Don't worry too much. Famous and Stray. Famous and other worlds are well-known places, and you'll find them under certain conditions. On the other hand, Stray ones are mysterious places that need to be researched. The biggest difference is Strays will collapse after defeating the Overlord, but Famous ones will not collapse. Even if the Strays unlucky, unluckily collapse... If you research famous ones, you'll discover new Stray Netherworlds. Keep researching and it until you destroy it. This is weird. I like it. Expedition ships. Those are those little ships? Yes! Sorry. Um, Expedition ships are how the squads get around. Ride them and go research. You need a ship to do nether research, so if you want to send multiple expeditions, you will need the same amount of ships. You can dispatch up to 10 people per ship. I will increase the number of expedition ships, so wait a while. I mean, this sounds legit cool. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, Alright, these are the orders that we need to have explained. Research! You can organize the research squads and direct them to research in other worlds. You can dispatch up to ten people in a single expedition ship. That was simple. Defeat Overlord. Each stray in other world has an Overlord who rules it. If you find the Overlord during your research, you have to directly go to that other world to fight it. The Overlord may be a tough enemy, but if you're able to win, you can get items and capture prisoners. Between you and me, you'll probably get a nice item if you defeat the Overlord. It'll be well worth fighting for. If you're impatient with your research or don't like certain netherworlds, then give it a try. It might be fun. By the way, if you defeat the Overlord, the netherworld will collapse, so be careful. Bring home. You can retrieve a research squad that is at another netherworld at any time that you want. You may want a certain character back or want to change the squad to make the research progress more efficient. Research squads don't get discouraged easily. Even if they get annihilated, they can recover and continue. Probably. Which orders do you want to explain? Give up. You can delete finished netherworlds or ones you're too lazy to continue. The netherworld index is limited, so you should delete the netherworlds you've already finished researching. By the way, famous other worlds are famous, so you can't delete them. You can only delete stray other worlds. Your progress report should be pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to explain it anyway. You can check the current details of your research squads. There may be many times you can't stand up to the citizens of another world, and you can't progress your research. Just throw a strong character into the squad, or change the other world you're researching to change your fortunes. And the reports. When your research is complete, you will receive reports on the activities. Activities on the reports will include items found and prisoners captured. The characters in the research squad will not be able to return until you complete the research report, so please be careful. I guess that's it. Um, I feel like we don't have enough people. Blood Parch! Oh, that's cool. Spirit Interment and Poison Dice. I don't think we have enough people to do this right now. Alright, so next up, uh, I want to check awesome. the squad again. Uh-huh. Uh, interrogation squad, it's still just her. I kind of want to change it to somebody else. Who do we not have on the squad? Zungle, you're a thief. You should be good at interrogation. Alright, time to go get ourselves an archer. You need something? I do. Alright, you're the archer. 
Okay, so we, we have Mary. We could go random. Parachuting Angel, Cindy. Parachuting Angel. They really want us to be Parachuting Angel. Satin Leggings. Just want to see some of the names there. Alright, Archer. I think we're going to go back with our, um, our old school one from the original this guy that we were playing. And we're going to go back with Dendra. We'll, we'll reuse some names. It'll be fine. She's not very prominent in uh, Disgaea 1 PC, or Disgaea 1 Complete, I'm sorry, and the PC one, but uh, it's mostly because I'm bad at doing things the way I'm supposed to. Alright, I know there's two stats that archers use. I believe it's hit and then attack. Hit and attack. Okay, I'll confirm that, and alright, what do we have? Gal gallant. Alright, color... I mean... Yeah, we'll just go with the generic archer. I like it. Or the default archer, if you prefer. I don't remember getting the chance to level that person up. I mean, I wasn't going to anyway, but I'm just... I, I, I missed it, apparently. Just did not see the chance to level it up. Um, I want to see how much mana we have sitting around. I mean, like, a fair bit. Like, we have a fair bit. I think I'm going to level up uh, Phantom Blow again. I just don't want to, though. It's already a super expensive skill. Well, let's just level it up. Do we not have enough mana? How much does it cost? Sorry. Uh, why can't I figure this out? Oh, I have... I have 178? Is, is that what it, Oh, I only have 178. Okay, 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 sorry. I thought I had 320. I'm like, where's the cost? That is the cost, 320. Alright. That's fine. Alright, we're gonna come over here. Thank you. I wanna buy a, a better bow. A fairy arch? It sounds weird, but we're gonna go with it. And we're going to go with our characters, and we're going to give Bonnie the new weapon. The bow of scales has served you well, Bonnie, but it's time to move on to the fairy arch. You are welcome. And we're going to go all the way to the end of it, and we're going to give you the bow of scales. we we'll give you some wrinkly clothing. And I guess some slippers, even though that only for speed. Now we're not going to give you any slippers. Um, give the clothes here. It's fine. Alright. So there we go. Probably glasses. But we're still under equipment. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. Nerd glasses. Ooh! It's expensive. I think we'll get two pairs of those. And we'll get, like, uh, an exertion belt. I'm sure we have uses for those. Anyway, guys and gals, continue to sign up. Go back to one of the episodes or just leave a comment. I will try to... Hopefully, uh, it'll be, like, announced to me so I can find them. But if not, I do apologize if I've missed anyone. Alright, gonna go back up to the first one. She's got binoculars. Yeah, I don't care. You need to have binoculars. I don't know. Oop, not, not. Ah, I'm doing everything wrong. Binoculars. Yeah, there you go. And speed is another one that you need, right? So you're a gunner? You are a gunner. Do the slippers. I believe you use hit and speed. Okay. Um, Red Magnus, Exertion Belt. Exertion belt, power belt, power belt. We're gonna give you the exertion belt again. Bumpy's got that. I mean, I guess we could have Mutan out with um, the maiden's thing as well. Cotton bandana. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and our thief is actually rocking a pretty garbagey bow too. We should probably upgrade the thief's bow. Welcome. 
I've not really had a lot of bow users. I find them to be not all that impressive overall. So to me, it's it's odd to, to be having so many of them so early on. I'm sure the characters have various different things that they're good with or bad with. Um, is it this one? No, I have to go to status. Go with the bone hunter bow. There you go. All right, let's go to status real quick. So you are good with what is it? Guns. Well, I say good. You're quote unquote good with guns and with with arrows. Let's go with staves. There's Dendra. Good with bows, of course. Makes sense. Fists and swords. I could have gone with sword. I, you know, I I kind of wish I knew that. I would have switched. I all right. I wish I would have paid enough attention early on. I would have switched them to swords. I wouldn't mind Kilia being uh, being a sword fighter. I'm not a big fan of uh, fist weapons, honestly. I, I find them to be kind of underwhelming slash lame. But that's just me. What are we rocking with, uh, Red Magnus? He's using his axe, staff, and I guess bow. Uh, shooter, of course. Shooter again. And you are an axe wielder. You are a spear wielder. Okay, I got it. We're good. Now, this has been like almost non-stop like shenaniganery this episode. I'm just looking around doing different menus and stuff. I do apologize for that, folks. But let's send some people on the research. And then we'll go see what that's all about. Yeah, yeah. We'll try. I mean, we have enough people. I uh, will go to the first area. Uh, research... Oh, we can choose who we want to send. That's cool. Well, I'm going to send Seth and Jake. Um, I feel like if we send Tam, that might be okay, too. What? Oh, we can't send the main characters at all. We can send Nisa. Why don't we send Logan? I'm going to still use Logan a little bit. Well, I mean, I can use Girl Laharl and Metalia, I suppose. Alright. This will be your research squad. Is that okay? Researching characters cannot join in battle. Yes, it should be fine. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um... We won't have a progress report until we do some sort of battle or something, I think. That's how it works. Alright, let's go. A yellow printy. It's the curry thief. Hey. You in the yellow. Uh. Uh, my, a yellow printy? That's rare. Did I even acquire a yellow one? Uh, that's odd. That yellow printy looks pale. Uh. My usual healthy yellow complexion, Plip. Huh? Plip? Well, that's pretty suspicious. Is this the intruder? Plip. The intruder? Not me. I've been framed, Plip. Do you even have any proof? Hey, stop trying to act all innocent, dude. You can fool everything under the sun, but you can't fool our noses, dude. Yeah, dude. This pleasant and stimulating smell. If I'm not mistaken, it's sardine curry. You're the criminal, dude! <laughs> Crap! I was foiled by the smell of curry plip! Curry plip, not curry Wait, Who was that? Dude! Killia made that just for us! That was a Zoidberg Give escape. Give us our sardine curry back, dude! The printies are outraged out of their minds. That curry must be quite delicious. No doubt. I agree. Printies usually don't do any work at all. If they're this desperate, it must be good. Yeah. Hey, don't you all feel like eating curry now, too? Nope. Hmm. Uh oh. Curry? How nostalgic. That sure takes me back. Hey, Killian. Can you help me with the cooking? 
That smile will never come back. Who was it that took that smile away? Carry out your revenge. Destroy everything. Isn't that why you crawled back from the brink of death? <sighs> Who cares about a world in which she no longer exists? Just destroy everything! Unleash me! Now! Nah. Shut up! Ooh. Uh -oh. Lise, please help me stay sane until I get my revenge. Well, that was weird. Okay. Um, I assume we have to go find the printy again. Oh, printy. Uh-huh. Well, it's going to be one of them there episodes where I don't even get to do any of the fighting. It's all about the storyline and the other stuff. I don't mind that, though. I don't mind. We, we got to see a lot of different game mechanics and things of that nature, so it's all good. It's all good. I don't know if I should be looking for the other printy or if I should just, like, go to the, the item. Not the item. will be uh, the dimension gate. Like, what should I be doing right now? It feels... There's a chain. What's this chain? Oh, that's just how the thing's held up. Alright. Well, I don't see anyone, so I'm gonna assume that we need to go back over here. Where would you like to go, dude? And see where the printy went. Just now, a suspicious yellow printy used the dimension gate to go to Demunch Room, dude. Demunch Room. Damn! It's quick at escaping! Wait! Why didn't you capture it? That's not part of my job description, dude. Yeah. He doesn't want to get involved in a complicated matter. It's understandable. Now is no time for admiration. Let's hurry up and follow it. I have to be the one who takes the first bite of Sir Kilia's homemade curry. Uh. Oh, Red and Magnus can't allow that. The Supreme One is taking the first bite. <laughs> no, no. I can't allow anything to happen to you guys. I shall take the first bite to make sure it isn't poisoned. There you go, see? Hey, you guys. Don't we have something more pressing to do than chase curry? No! no. That curry is our top priority! Uh, like, he could make that more. That is correct. Not even the most malicious heart can resist once they have the inkling of wanting to eat curry. <laughs> but if you really want to eat it that badly, why don't we ask Kilia to make some more? There you go. Uh, actually, I used up all the rice. My bad. Uh, what? Are you telling me that you used all the rice I had stored up? Kilia, just how hungry do you get? Even Red Magnus is super surprised. Super surprised. This situation has just gotten critical. <laughs> Knowing he can't make any more just made me want to eat it even more. Oh dear. <clears throat> I want curry, 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 I want curry! Oh boy. Oh, they're just leaving. They just don't even care. Is they're this just like... my fault for making curry? Yes. Yes, it is. It is your fault. Well, that was weird. That was a little weird. Not gonna lie. We're not gonna do that, though. As much as I'm very tempted to go to the Moon Shroom, uh, we're gonna go to The Legend Begins, and that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We kind of walked around, did a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna get this uh, event out of the way, and then we're breaking off the episode. About the curry, did you use sardines because of the printies? Yeah, they just wanted it to have sardines. It was a simple request. They're useless, but they order food like they're one of us. Seafood curry is too luxurious for them. Speaking of curry, the ingredients you use speaks volumes about your households. We don't eat meat in my household, so we make a vegetable curry with tomatoes and eggplants. Ew. Of course, my household was luxurious, so we made a golden curry with gold dust. Ew. I don't think gold dust is an ingredient. Red Magnus's curry is super massive. He doesn't bother with vegetables or rice. He just pours curry on top of a 100 kilogram super steak. Red Magnus calls it super steak curry. Does that even count as curry? Instead of steak curry, it's more like curry steak. 
but it does sound kind of good. Didn't you literally just say that you don't eat meat? I'm, I'm, hmm. Let's fix you up. Yeah, fix me up, whatever. All right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we go and we revisit, or for the very first time, I guess, we visit Disgaea D2's characters in some weird fashion. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, folks, until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Don't forget to sign up, guys and gals. Don't forget to sign up names. Give me names so I can recruit more people and or monsters and other things. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>